Hey guys, Vinny Lopes here from Off the Block, and the new college men's volleyball national media poll is out. Now I'm a voter for this poll, so let's get down to how I vote this week. Number one, I have Loyola. The Ramblers I have in the top spot once again. Got two good conference victories this weekend. Going, going on the road, getting a tough, hard-fought victory and a tough place to win like Muncie, Indiana against Ball State. And then getting a good quality victory at home against IPFW, a team that historically has played Loyola very close, very tight. And the Ramblers, they showed they can win. They're continuing to win. And they are now on a conference best 11 match winning streak. And I expect for them to have that momentum going in the second half of the season. Then, number two on my ballot, I have BYU. The Cougars, they had a bye week. No need to punish a team for not playing any matches. They stay at number two. Then, number three, I have UCLA once again. Now, the Bruins, they are playing like a team that will, that will make the NCAA tournament. When you look at what this team is doing, especially on Monday night, being able to go in and get a good quality road victory against Stanford in five games, that's impressive. And the Bruins, they're taking care of business at home, but more importantly, they're taking care of business on the road. That's critical if you're going to get an NCAA tournament berth. And you have to think John Sperron in his second season is going to get the Bruins back to their first NCAA tournament since 2006. So continuing down my ballot now, at number four, I have Penn State. Once again, I have the Nittany Lions in the top five, even though no other voter has them in the top five or anywhere close to that. That is completely baffling to me. They're on a nation-best 12-match winning streak. It doesn't matter who you're playing. They have won 12 matches in a row. Someone give them a little bit of credit here for being some quality teams. And I'm going to say this. It's going to be very interesting. In a couple of weeks, they go out on the road to the West Coast, to play Cal State Northridge and Long Beach State. Should be some good quality matches, but a little bit of extra intrigue in that Cal State Northridge match after Monday when the coaches poll came out and the ballots were revealed. Cal State Northridge coach Jeff Campbell had his 4 and 9 Mat- Matadors team ranked ahead of Penn State on his ballot. So, hey, if you're a Nittany Lions player, that's a little bit more bulletin board material for you, for you going out, out to the West Coast. So, Very interesting to see, but right now they are in the top four. I think that they have proven enough so far this season based on the teams that they have played to remain in my top five. Now, rounding out my top five, I have Long Beach State, the 49ers. They are continuing to take care of business, beating the teams that they're supposed to beat. Taylor Crabb is playing absolutely unbelievable. We have a possibility of a repeat National Player of the Year, something we haven't seen in almost 10 years. That's how good of a season he's having. And the 49ers are going to continue to pick up some wins here. Expect for them to be in the hunt for a potential at-large berth to the NCAA tournament. So that's the top five. Now, continuing down my ballot, number six, I have Pepperdine. The Waves able to take care of business, getting a home victory against Cal Baptist this week. So they're continuing to do what they need to do. Then number seven, I have UC Santa Barbara. The Gauchos got absolutely stymied up uh, up at North, Northern California against Stanford. They got blocked more than 20 times in a three-game match. That was pretty ugly, so they dropped my ballot all the way down to number seven. And at number eight, I have USC, the Trojans. They're continuing to get wins. Got two good victories against the Rainbow Warriors this week. Mike Christensen's back from a back injury, which is critical because the Trojans will go as far as Christensen can carry them this year. But the other good thing is the emergence of... Tanner Jansen on the opposite position. He get If he continues to play well with Lucas Yoder on the outside, they're going to have a nice one-two punch, and the Trojans are going to continue to get some victories throughout the rest of the season. Then, at number nine on my ballot, I have Stanford. Stanford, you know, they get some tough losses, especially like the one they had Monday night in overtime in five games against UCLA, but they're continuing to find some momentum. They're going to get some wins, and they're going to be a scary low seed to play Come the MPSF tournament. Then number 10 on my ballot. To close out, I have IPFW, the Mastodons. First time I've ever put the Mastodons in my ballot, and they deserve it. When you look at the week that they had, they proved that they belong in the top 10. Getting a great home victory against Lewis in five games. Then going out on the road and playing four quality tough ma- tough games against number one Loyola. They have a great resume. They had that one hiccup loss against Ball State, and that's really been the only bad loss that they've had this year, even though losing Ball State isn't a bad loss at all. That's a good that's a good team you have up there in Muncie. So IPFW, they round out my top 10. Well, that does it for how I vote this week. Be sure to get all your news and analysis by going to offtheblockblog.com.